everyone. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope that everybody is safe and well. I'm still on the road uh, in Australia on my way to the USA next and I'm really excited about collaborating with educators there. Um, so this week I'm going to be talking about how we design mathematical units to help students understand the interconnectedness of the different mathematics topics. And it's based on a discussion that I had with a lovely faculty that I'm working with. So if you're interested in my thoughts about how we showcase the interconnectedness of different mathematics topics in a unit, then please keep on watching. So recently I was uh, engaged in this wonderful discussion with a faculty talking about how we can help students to understand the interconnectedness of all of the different mathematics topics. So even though traditionally a lot of mathematics courses are approached as algebra, then we move on to data handling, then we move on to geometry, we know that mathematics is actually all interconnected. Geometry and algebra go together. Number very often has a context within data handling, etc. And so how do we reorganize standards so that we show that interconnectedness between all of the different mathematics topics. So within a grade or year level, we've got the horizontal mapping. So we start with the vertical mapping first to make sure that all the standards are coherent and that actually explicitly specifies the progression of different concepts as they go up grade levels or year levels. But once you have that vertical mapping and articulation, then we kind of zoom in and focus on the horizontal mapping and articulation. So within that grade level or year level, we want to reorganize the units so that the mathematical topics are all interconnected. And I'll give you some examples, some concrete examples, so that um, to illustrate my point. So let's say I very often see that we have units on fractions, decimals, and percentages. And in particular, I see that there are a lot of units in grade five and six that just focus perhaps on just fractions for six weeks. And I think it's really important that we actually allow students to understand the interconnectedness of those different representations of number, fractions, decimals, and percentages. So as well as putting those three concepts and ideas into a unit, we also want to give fractions, decimals, and percentages a context and more meaning when students are learning about those three different types of number. So very often we can actually introduce the idea of data handling or probability within data handling. So we can start off with lots of different probability experiments, collecting different data, and then looking at how we express the likelihood of particular events using either fractions, decimals, or percentages and start teaching students the operations of fractions, decimals, and percentages within that context of probability and data handling. So that's one example of how we can interconnect them. I think that geometry is very connected to algebra. And I'll give you one more example, and I hope that you can share some examples with me in the comment section below. It's to do with the Pythagorean theorem. So very often I see the Pythagorean theorem approached as an algebraic manipulation and an algebraic approach. Now, the Pythagorean theorem really is a geometry problem. And I think it's important that we actually look at the areas produced from the sides in the right angle triangle and allow students to explore Pythagoras' theorem from a geometry perspective so that they appreciate that it actually is about the areas, the sum of the areas produced in a right angle triangle and that relationship with the area produced from the hypotenuse. So if we help students to see the connection of the Pythagorean theorem in the geometry perspective, then we can move on to start manipulating the algebra of it and teaching students the skills of finding the unknown sides in a right angle triangle. Okay, so that's my thoughts about how we really try and showcase the interconnectedness of different mathematics topics. And so when we're designing units, let's really think about how we can connect different topics together. Thank you so much for joining me this week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.